read about Jesus Christ today? The Word is free. Holy Scripture, Bible verses from the Bible. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Like to read about Jesus Christ today? The Word is free. God bless you. My pleasure. Jesus loves you. Receive the love of Jesus Christ in abundance. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today, sir. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ? The word is uh, free. No, I'm okay, thanks. All this uh, Bible scriptures. Jesus loves you, died for you. Died on the cross, he rose from the dead, the savior of the world, Jesus Christ. There's no other way, no other name under heaven that a man must be saved. We'd like to read about Jesus Christ. The greatest act of love the universe has ever known. I read about Jesus Christ, sir. I read about Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you. Died on the cross. Rose from the dead. Savior of the world. He didn't only die for the people he loved. He died for his enemies. That whoever should receive the love of Jesus Christ will have eternal life. Jesus Christ offers you eternal life upon repentance of your sins. Humble your hearts. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit and you shall be saved. We must humble our hearts and seek the love of Jesus Christ. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ, sir? I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today, the word is free. Love of Jesus Christ, salvation is free. I'd like to read about Jesus today, Jesus Christ, love of Jesus Christ, that you'll know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Do not be deceived of the lies of this world. Receive the love of Jesus Christ, receive the spirit of Jesus. He says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today, the word is free. Holy Scripture, Bible verses. Jesus says, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. We speak Christ Jesus crucified, died on the cross, rose from the dead, Savior of the world. He died for you that whoever should receive Jesus Christ will have everlasting life. He didn't only die for the people that he loved, he died for his enemies. That whoever should confess that the love of Thanks. Jesus, God bless you, Jesus loves you, will have everlasting life. Receive the love of Jesus. Do not sin no more. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus. The word is free. Jesus said, watch out that no one fools you. Do not be deceived. For many men have come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I came to give life. I didn't come to kill. I came to give life. Anyone who kills is not of God. God is not a God of, God, of, 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 uh, of death. He's a God of love. God said, I will avenge myself. I will avenge. God does not send his people to kill people. Jesus Christ is a God of love. He wants to have a relationship with you today. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ. The word is free. Jesus died on the cross, rose from the dead, the Savior of the world. We see the love of Jesus Christ in abundance. But God is a God of love. He's a God of judgment. He's a God of righteousness. God demands justice. God loves us, but he hates sin. He doesn't like sin. There's a payment for sin. And uh, I would hate to see any of you in the pit of hell. Stay away from the pit. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. I'd like to read about Jesus. The word is free. Jesus Christ, the only, the only unique son of the Father, who came to earth to die for our sins. And whoever should confess his love and receive his love that he did for us will have everlasting life. Jesus said, be careful. Don't be deceived. There's a lot of false lies out there because Satan the devil is the god of this world because he has been invoked by all by most humanity. Satan rules over this world temporarily. Do not be deceived. The love of Jesus Christ is not the love of the world. There's two different loves. There's a love of Jesus and a love of the world. The proverb says that 
even the love of the wicked is cruel. What do you about Jesus today? The word is free. The proverb says the love of the wicked is cruel. I'm sure you've all experienced that. Cruel love from the world. That's not the love of God. The love of God is that he sent his unique son to die for us to show us what love is. That whoever should receive that love, that spirit of the love that Jesus did on the cross will have everlasting life. Jesus Christ is the greatest love story the universe has ever known. Like to read about Jesus Christ today? The word is free. It would be a lot better with Jesus. Don't forget about Jesus. Receive the love of Jesus be born again, Jesus said. We must be born again. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive of my spirit. Become my son, he says. You will now have a familiar spirit. You'll be able to, to, uh, to understand me. You'll be able to hear my voice. Jesus says, receive my spirit. So you can hear my voice, so you can be safe. Because this world, there's many lies and deceptions in this world. Jesus came to give life and give life abundantly. God bless you. Jesus loves you. We see the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus did not come to kill life. Jesus didn't come to kill life. He came to give life. Jesus said, anyone who kills another, uh, another person cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Like to read about Jesus today? Like to live about, read about Jesus Christ. The word is free. Holy Scripture, Bible verses. Jesus said, "You'll know the truth. The truth shall set you free." He says, "I've come to give life and give life abundantly." He says, "Take of my spirit and eat from me. Eat from my fruits. Eat from the love of Jesus Christ who died on the cross. Receive His Holy Spirit." And then Jesus says, "You'll become a new creature, a new mind, a new heart will be given you. You shall have your eyes open. Your eyes will, and ears will be open. You'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free." There's only one way, there's no other way. Only one way is through the love of Jesus Christ. We're in a bad way, humanity is in a bad way right now because we've forsaken the love of Jesus. Jesus is no longer permitted in our society and we've all gone astray, we've all gone our own way because we've forgotten about Jesus. We forgot about the love Jesus did for us on the cross. Whoever should confess Jesus Christ will have everlasting life. We've forgotten about the life that came, about 2,000 years ago to show us the right way. He says, receive of my spirit. Salvation is never, is never over, is never too late for us. Like Peter about Jesus Christ today, the word is free. Like read about Jesus Christ today, sir. Like read about Jesus Christ, Holy Scripture, Bible verses. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Like read about Jesus Christ today, sir. You shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for you on the cross. He didn't only die for those he loved. He died for his enemies. That whoever should confess his love and receive the spirit of the love of Jesus on the cross will have everlasting life. Jesus Christ is asking you to say thanks. Give him a grain offering with your soul. Say thank you, Jesus, with your soul, because he's looking in your hearts right now. He's probing. He's seeking to find something that is of him so he can draw you closer. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus today. The word is free. Holy Scripture, Bible verses. I'd like to receive the love of Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to receive the love of Jesus Christ. Confess your sins before it is too late. Confess your sins, because the Lord God, the sword of God, is coming, and it's coming very soon upon our land. We must be ready in advance. The time is short. The time is short indeed. We must receive the Spirit of Jesus Christ in abundance and be consecrated, that we may be able to withstand the evil day. The evil day is upon us. The evil day draws near. It's like, here, it's here. Correct. You know Jesus Christ, sir. Is Jesus living in you? Is Jesus going to save you? Is he going to protect you? Is he going to watch over you? Are you going to receive the love of Jesus Christ? God bless you. Be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Receive the Spirit of Jesus Christ in abundance. Jesus says you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Make that confession. Jesus says, go in your room, lock your door, pray to your Heavenly Father, and he'll hear you. 
He will respond. We must have salvation in our souls. Jesus died for all men, for all peoples, all languages and nations, and He's saving all nations. And He needs to hear from you today. He's knocking at the door. Receive the love of Jesus Christ, not the love of the world. The love of the world will kill you. The love of the world will lie to you. But Jesus Christ will never lie to you. Jesus Christ is your King. He came for you and He's drawing to you right now. He wants you to receive Him. Would you like to receive Jesus Christ when the evil day is now upon us? Time is running out to receive salvation. Time is drawing close. Time is drawing to a close. Be ye ready. For the day is dawning, the night is coming. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. Receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. Like to read about Jesus Christ today. Holy Scripture, Bible verses from the Holy Bible. God bless you. Receive the love of Jesus. Make your confession. I need more. You need more? Yeah. How many would you like? I, I give those away as two. You're going to give them out? Yeah. Ethiopian? Yes. God bless you, brother. Yeah. Love of Jesus Christ right there. That is the, 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 the repentance package. That's eternal life yeah. in your hand. Remember me? I talked to you a long, long time. I do remember. You're very My familiar. My Telly. Telly. Yeah, give him. Yeah, I remember, I remember at the library. 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 How you doing, brother? I'm good. Right now, good. That's what? Yeah, good. I'm giving away with uh, a, a prayer, a repentance prayer now. Wow. So people can receive the spirit of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Is that good for you? Yeah. Did you give those out, the last yeah. ones I gave yeah. you? God, I can give you more. Okay. Amazing, man. Here, I'll give you these. I have I, some more in the uh, I never see my, my backpack. Life. God, God bless you, man. Too much. Thank you. Increase, my brother, in the love of Jesus Christ. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit filled gospel tracks. How you doing? Good, you? Doing well. Me too. Just doing, just sowing some seeds. That's all we Watering some seeds and hoping that God's gonna give some growth here. We I talk to him twice a day for sure. For sure, oh yeah, one lamb morning, in the morning. Morning and the evening. There you yeah. go, that's, that's, that's what he says. I am well and truly blessed, I am. Uh, Praise God. Lucky man. Right, yeah, well, you know, uh, it is an honor to know him, isn't it? Makes my life easy. God bless you, sir. Like to read about Jesus today, sir. Like to read about Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Like to read about Jesus Christ today, sir. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. Would you like to receive the love of Jesus Christ today? Glory to glory. Increase your life with Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Spirit. You're going to need him. Darkness is coming on the land. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ. I'd like to receive the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I came to give life and give life abundantly. He wants to give you life abundantly. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to give life. He didn't come to destroy. He didn't come to kill. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Like to read about Jesus today? Like to receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ today. That's your package right there. That's food, Excellent. food for your soul, vitamin for your spirit. Like to read about Jesus Christ today. Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, didn't come to kill life, he came to give life. Jesus said, anybody who kills is a murderer. Murderers do not inherit the kingdom of God. There's spiritual murder, there's physical murder. 
Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Have your sins cleansed. Be washed in the love of Jesus Christ. Like we read about Jesus today, the word is free. Like we read about Jesus Christ, the word is free. Holy Scripture, Bible verses. Like we read about Jesus today, the word is free. Receive the Holy Spirit and be baptized. So like we read about Jesus today, the word is free. The Bible says... There's, there's no other way. Jesus Christ. He says, I will live in you and I will teach you and I will lead you into all things. The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ will come into you and live in you. The Bible says that God touches you right where the Spirit meets the soul. In, unmistakable. When Jesus Christ, when God himself touches you, you know that's him. And he's, he's waiting to commune with you. Would like to read about Jesus? Would you like to receive the love of Jesus Christ in abundance? Would you like to read about Jesus today? The word is free. Like to read about Jesus Christ, the word is free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ in abundance. Like to read about Jesus Christ today? The Bible says to exercise your senses. The Bible says to demolish all strongholds, subdue your enemies through the love of Jesus Christ. The Bible says when a man is righteous in the eyes of God, he makes even his enemies be at peace with him. And we need the love of Jesus Christ. We need to get to know Jesus so that we can be comforted in times of need. For darkness is coming and time is running out. Like we see Jesus Christ today, would you like to make that confession. Would you like, would you like a prayer for that, sir? Would you like to read about Jesus Christ today. You'll be a, a lot better with Jesus. Jesus Christ said you'll, you'll know the truth, the truth will set you free. Put all your cares, cast all your cares upon him, says the Bible, because he cares for you. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ from the Bible, Holy Scripture Bible verses. Jesus says you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. I'd like to read about Jesus today. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. I'm a Christian. Glory to glory, brother. Glory to glory. Glory to glory. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ. Holy Scripture Bible verses. Jesus says, come to me all you who are weary and heavy laden. For I am gentle in heart, take my yoke upon you. Jesus says, learn from me. My burden is, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Would I like to read about Jesus Christ today from the Bible? You know, Jesus loves you, he died on the cross for you. Jesus says, you come to me, by no means will I ever forsake you or abandon you. When you receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, you receive eternal life. Do you know that Jesus will comfort you? If you when you make that confession, when you seek Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, and strength, and you ask him to forgive your sins, Jesus Christ will clean you. He'll remove those sins from you. And you'll become a child of the living God. That's what Jesus came to do, and that's what he's doing. Jesus Christ is ready to have a relationship with you today. If you make that confession, we must humble our hearts and be real with God and seek him and seek Jesus Christ. Jesus said, he who has the Son has the Father. He who doesn't have the the Son is without the Father. Without Jesus Christ, there is no eternal life. Without Jesus Christ, nothing is possible. Jesus Christ resurrected himself to show us the resurrection that he wants us to partake in. For if we share in a death like his, we will have a resurrection like his as well. There is life after death, and Jesus Christ holds the key. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the first and the last. He's the great one. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, seated on the throne in heaven. He's the King of the universe. And he wants to get to know you today. Would you make that confession with him today? God bless you. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Glory to glory. In abundance. And grow in the love and kindness and the peace. In faith and the trust and the hope that is in you. That he's waiting to grace you with. To give you anointing and strength and power in your walk. Give you peace and love and security through the, through, the, through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. There is no other way. Jesus Christ is your best invisible friend. He is your best. He is your spiritual mother, your spiritual father. He is your, your Lord and your God. And he's here to show you how to live. And he's here to give you eternal life, to save you from all your troubles and your time and needs, that he is the only one who's going to be there for you. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus Christ in abundance. Seek Him. Seek Him with all your heart, mind, and strength. The Bible says you'll know the truth. The truth will set you free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Confess your sins to Him. Toss all your cares on Jesus because He loves you and He cares for you.
and he died for you. There is no other way. There ain't no other way. There is no other love. Have you seen the love of this world? Have you seen what the love of this world does? The love of this world says peace, and then it kills you. That's what the love of this world does. But when the fullness of time came, God sent his son to show us the real love, the love of God through Jesus Christ. There is no other way. There is no other love. The love of the world will kill you and leave you naked and, and dead and bleeding in the streets. Jesus Christ says, come to me. I will give you everlasting life. I will clothe you in honor. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ did not come to kill. He came to give life. Jesus said, I came to give life and life abundantly. Anybody who kills is a murderer. And that is not the love of God. The true love of God came about 2,000 years ago to die for you on the cross. He rose from the dead. And he is the everlasting life that came to give life unto the world. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, there's no other way to the Father except through me. I am he, I'm the one, I'm the good shepherd, I am the gate, I am the door. The prophesied Messiah, who is prophesied to come. He is the real one. He's the one who will set you free. He says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ in your hearts. The true love of God, not the love of this world. The love of this world doesn't die for you. The love of this world wants to kill you. The love of this world is deceitful. It's a hate love. The proverb says that the love of the wicked is cruel. You've all experienced that. That's not the love of God. The love of God is this, that he sent his only unique son to die for you on the cross to show you the love of God, the greatest love story the universe and the earth has ever known. There's never been an act of love such as that love that came from Jesus Christ who died for you. He didn't only die for those he loved, he died for his enemies. That whoever should confess the love of Jesus Christ will have everlasting life. That is the life eternal that came to show us how to live, how to act, how to be. Look at this world. We're ready to go to war, nuclear war. We're ready to kill each other. We're ready to kill each other. Is that the love of God? That's not the love of God. That's the love of the devil. The true manna that came from heaven died for us. And he said, love is none greater than this, than one laid down his life for his brothers, and you are my brothers if you do, and obey what I tell you to do. And he said, eat of me, eat of this manna, receive the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is your life eternal, Christ in you. Not you, but Christ in you. There is none other salvation under the entire heavens and the entire universe and the entire creation that can be sought other than the, the, the salvation of Jesus Christ. That's what we preach. Jesus Christ crucified. The love of Jesus Christ. There is no other. The promised Messiah that came approximately 2,000 years ago prophesied in the Bible in the day of Moses when he first took the pen, the Torah, the Tanakh, that prophesied the salvation that was to come, that came approximately 2,000 years ago, the promised one that had risen, that is risen, that is alive, that lives, and says, if you receive of my spirit, I live, and now you shall also live. If you partake in the same death as my death, you shall have the same resurrection as mine. And Jesus Christ is highly exalted at the right hand of the Father, on his throne room in heaven and he's waiting to have a relationship with you Jesus says lock your door pray to your Heavenly Father and he will hear you pray to your Heavenly Father and he will hear you there is no other salvation in the entire universe other than the salvation of Jesus Christ there's no other way we are not gods you're not God Jesus is God and Jesus Christ came to show you that you can what your potential is your potential is great your potential is high but there's too much pride and arrogance and hatred in this world. And that is what is bringing us down. That was, that's what will take you down. Repent your sins and receive the love of Jesus Christ and humble yourselves. Pride kills. Pride is the, is the road to destruction. The Bible says before the fall comes pride. The Bible says pride has arisen, arrogance has blossomed in the land. The fullness of time has come. The darkness is now about to draw near on this earth. Without the salvation of Jesus Christ, you will have no protection, 
no one to go to. When you cross into that veil, there will be no one there for you. If you do not receive the love of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit of Christ, that's why Jesus came. To protect you in the veil, to protect you in the darkness, to protect you when the nighttime comes. To protect you from the deceitful lies, from the deceitful lies of the devil that is killing this world, that has covered this world in darkness. Jesus said there's one love, and that's him who came from heaven, who died for you. No other greater act of love was there ever displayed in the history of creation than Jesus Christ who died for you and rose from the dead. There's no other way, there's no other life through, other than through Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus Thank Christ. You, Receive, you're welcome. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Confess your sins. Be baptized. Jesus says, go in your room, lock your door, pray to your Heavenly Father, and He will hear you. We must humble our hearts. We must remove all sin. We must be cleansed. We must make that confession. We must have that solid foundation in Jesus Christ because He is the foundation that cannot be washed away. He's the foundation that will, that will give you eternal life. He's that rock that can never be moved in your life. The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ in you. That is the love of Jesus Christ. That is the glory of God in you. That you, may, you will be a son of the living God. There's no other way. There is no other one other than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. There's spiritual murder, there's physical murder. Jesus Christ said, I didn't come to kill. I came to give life and life abundantly through my Holy Spirit. That whoever should receive my Holy Spirit and confess me, I will come into them and they will come into me and we will sup together through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to give you life. There is no other way. There is no other name under heaven that a man can be saved other than through the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Would you like to read about Jesus Christ today? The word is free. Receive the Holy Spirit and be baptized. Make your confession to Jesus Christ. Go in your room, lock your door, pray to your Heavenly Father, and He will hear you. Just answer the fucking we must humble our hearts. Yeah, the Father God, we ask for peace in this place, Lord. To show your power here, Lord Jesus, that your power and strength will manifest. Bring peace in this place, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Remove uh, all wicked spirits out of this place in Jesus' name. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the peace of Jesus. Jesus Christ that lives in you. You shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. You know this world is lying to you. You know this world is full of lies and deceit. And that the only way you're ever going to find out the truth, the only way your eyes will be open is if you receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, the real love that came down from heaven. That is the only way. The rest is all lies. We're not gods. Our, our wisdom compared to God is, is not even measurable. You can't even measure it. Do you think that you can save yourselves? Do you think that God is powerless not to save? Make your confession and receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Spirit. And then the Bible says you will become a new creature. You will know the truth. You will know because Jesus came to remove all the mysteries of God. Jesus Christ came to give you knowledge and wisdom of eternal value. Knowledge and wisdom that lives forever inside your soul. Jesus says that I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And I will come into you and I will make myself known to you. Anyone who murders will not inherit the kingdom of God. Murderers and liars and thieves and robbers are hell bound. There's hell to pay. There is hell to pay. And if that's the way you want to do it before you stand before Almighty God, that's your decision. But I'm here to show you a better way. The Bible says there is a better way. That way is love. That I may fathom all mysteries. I may know all things. I have enough strength and faith to move mountains. But if I have not love, I have nothing. But not the love of the world. The love of God. There's two different loves. The love of the world will kill you. Satan the devil shakes your hand with one hand and then he stabs you in the back with the other one. That's what Satan the devil does. And you know that. That's what the proverb says. The love of the wicked is cruel. Not the love of Jesus. That's a different love. 
For yet while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. He didn't only die for the people that he loved. He died for his enemies and whoever should confess Jesus Christ, the love of Jesus Christ, that spirit will have everlasting life. Ask Jesus. Jesus says, go in your room, lock your door, pray to your heavenly Father, and there he will hear you. That's what he says to do. Jesus says, why do you hear what I say but not do what I do? How do you expect to find the, 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 the spirit of the creator, God, that is in our midst, that wants to bless you? How will you find him if you do not do what Jesus said to do? He said, test me in this. Test me in love. Bring it all to me. Bring all the ties. Bring your flesh, your spirit, your soul. Bring it all to me, he says. Test me in this and see if I'll not pour out such an abundant blessing over you that your cup will overflow. How hard is that? It's pretty simple just to humble your hearts, humble your hearts in prayer and ask Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Very simple. Remove your pride, your arrogance. Remove all of the lies in your life. Don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to know what's really happening in the Mideast? Don't you want to know what's really happening in this world, in our government system? Don't you really want to know what's happening in the news around the world? Are you not concerned at all about death? Do you know that Jesus Christ said that when you go through the veil, he's the only one there for you? You need to hear his voice. He says, my sheep hear my voice. They know who I am and another will they follow. It is appointed for a man to die once and then the judgment. There is no doubt about it. There's only one way to go. We're all going to die. It's not a matter of when. It's a matter of how. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Receive the love of Jesus in abundance. Jesus is there waiting to have a, a relationship with you. He's waiting to get to know you. That's what he wants. He's knocking at the door. Jesus said, Behold, lo, I knock. Anyone who answers, I will sup with him and they will sup with me. Anyone who answers the call to receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ will have everlasting life. Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are ever laden in burden. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light and you will find rest for your souls. Oh, how we need to humble ourselves and receive the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus says, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. The greatest love the universe has ever known and the earth has ever known came to earth about 2,000 years ago and he died on the cross for you. The greatest love in the universe, Jesus Christ died for you. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, very good, Elaine. Good, good. Nice to see you. You met my wife? <laughs> no, where is she? Gosh. Oh, gosh. Good to see you. Hi, how are you? From the Speak Church. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. yeah. So I, I so good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you as well. I haven't seen you around. Yeah, I know. Give me the big receipt you're running around. Yeah. Well, don't, never too busy for, uh, yeah, <laughs> for some study time with Jesus. Indeed, indeed. Better not running to church anyway. God bless you. God bless you. You are the church. God bless you. Jesus Christ manifested the great, greatest love the universe has ever known. Yet while we're still sinners, Christ died for us. Receive the, the, the Holy Spirit, sir, in abundance. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And what he did... As he, he said, pick up your cross and follow me. He said, love has nothing greater than this than one lays down his life for his friends. You see, Jesus Christ is not selfish. He came to give. And that's what he wants for us to give, to give to ourselves, to give to our loved ones, give to our families, to show them the love of Jesus Christ through us. Receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus says, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. There's no other way. We'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The Bible says that love has nothing greater than this, that one lays down his life for his friends, and you are my friend, says Jesus, if you do what I say. And Jesus said, repent and receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, okay, now you've received of my spirit, go and sin no more. Increase and grow in the love of Jesus Christ. Be watered by the Holy Spirit. Open your heart to Jesus. Make your confession. Jesus says, go in your room, lock your door, pray to your Heavenly Father, and He will hear you. Humble your hearts. The Bible says that pride has arisen, arrogance has blossomed. We're at the ends of the earth. We're in a lot of trouble. We don't even know it. Darkness is covering the earth. And now we need Jesus more than ever before. Jesus came to show us how. Jesus said, 
that you, you must be born again. Born again. That means to receive the spirit of the love of Jesus. To become a new creature. To become new. To have a new mind, a new heart given to you. Jesus says that to remove that heart of stone and receive a good heart of flesh. That I will write my words on your heart. And you will know me. And then you will be mine. Jesus wants you as a personal possession. He wants you to receive His Spirit so He can fellowship with you, so you may have a familiar spirit in your heart for Him, so you'll be able to hear His voice. Jesus speaks to us, His Spirit speaks to us, but we cannot hear Him because there's too much turbulence there. There's too many distractions, too many bells and whistles. Jesus says, go in your room, lock your door, pray to your Heavenly Father and He will hear you. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Make that confession. The time is short. Darkness is coming over the land. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. Holy Bible scripture verses. You need, you need this medicine right here. This is medicine for your soul. Without this, without the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, we cannot, we will not inherit the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God has rules and laws and regulations. And the kingdom of God is based on righteousness. The proverb says that the, the kingdom of a God, of, uh, of the king's kingdom is based on righteousness. You cannot enter the kingdom of God without being righteous. The only way to be righteous is to receive the spirit of Jesus Christ in us. The, the spirit that died, the love of Jesus Christ that died for us. Then we're righteous. Then we become known. Then we become child of God by repenting our sins, by renouncing evil, by renouncing the devil, and receiving the love of Jesus Christ, the light, versus the darkness. The darkness has no light. The darkness has no life. You need light to shine in the darkness, to get to see your way where you're going. That light is the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. That's what, that's the whole reason for our existence, is to make our, is to find that light, the real light of Jesus Christ. Yes, there's many religions, many religions made of man, all wrong. Jesus says, you're the church, you're the Save temple, your you're, the, you're the, the vessel, you're the one who I will live in. You don't have to go to a building to get saved or listen to any man. You need to make a confession and find God through the spirit of Jesus Christ. That is the only way. There is no other way. Eternal life has implications and that those implications are to receive the love of Jesus Christ because he died for you and he loves you and he's your best invisible friend and he wants to get to know you and the only way you can get to know God is when you receive his Holy Spirit then you'll have a familiar spirit in your soul and you'll be able to hear his voice Jesus said be careful don't be fooled and all murderers will not inherit the kingdom of God murderers will end up in hell if you murder, you're going to end up in hell. Yeah, you know. You know that word. Repent your sins. Receive the love of Jesus. Jesus said, I came to give life. I didn't come to kill life. Jesus said, I came to give life, not kill life. Saying the devil is a murderer and a liar. Jesus said about Satan the devil, that when he speaks a lie, he speaks his native language because he is a father and the father of all lies. He's a murderer from the very beginning. That's the love of the world. That's not the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for you on the cross. Satan will not die for you. Satan wants to kill you. He's gonna kill you spiritually and then he's gonna kill you physically. That's what he's gonna do. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. That's your hope, that's your God, that's your Lord. Jesus Christ is your Lord, Canada. There is no other God. There is no other way other than through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Canada, your Lord is Jesus Christ. Canada was built on the foundation of the Bible. The greatest blessed nation in the world. Based on the Bible from the God of Jacob, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. Canada was built on the Bible the God of the Bible, not any other God, the greatest blessed nation in the world. And now we're going to lose our blessings because we've forsaken our God. We said no to Jesus. We kicked Jesus out of our lives. 
And so now we're in spiritual affliction. We're in a lot of trouble. The only way to get out is to make that confession to get back to your God. That's the only way. We must get back to our God. We must get back to Jesus Christ. Make that confession and remember your Lord. Because when the time of trouble comes and the darkness comes and a sword of Lucifer comes to kill you, remember, don't forget, Jesus Christ. He will set you free. He will get you through those fiery waters of death when you receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Would you like to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit today? There is no other way. Jesus said, receive the Holy Spirit and be baptized, be born again and you shall receive everlasting life, guaranteed promise, comfort of eternal security. When you get to know, when you receive the Holy Spirit, the promise of Abraham. Would you like to receive the promise of Abraham, sir? I'd like to read about Jesus Christ. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ. God bless you. Are you baptized? Are you, are you baptized? And no, uh, would you like? Yet. Well, that's it's simple. So, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Okay. See, uh, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my but sins. But I think about that. All right, yeah. But uh, not, not right here. now. Jesus when loves I... you. Songs of Solomon says, "Do not wake up love before it's time." But time is running short. Time Thanks. is running short. Okay. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Thank you. Father God, I pray, watch over her, protect her, put Satan in confusion regarding her when she's reading those tracts. Father, draw her towards you, draw her to repentance, draw her uh, to yourself, I pray uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. I'd like to receive the love of Jesus Christ. Be baptized. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Jesus says, swallow your pride. Pride has arisen, arrogance is boss, and that's not the way of life. Love is the way, but not the love of the world. Not the love of the world, the love of Jesus. Jesus is the love. He, he died for you. He's your best invisible friend you'll ever have. There's no other love than Jesus Christ. Glory to glory. God bless you. There's no other love. There's no other way. A man cannot be saved, cannot inherit the kingdom of God and have everlasting life without the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus died. Jesus died so he could release death through a resurrection. Jesus died in order to defeat death through a resurrection. The only way to receive the love of Jesus Christ, to, to, to win over death, is to receive his Holy Spirit, sir. Make that confession. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Go in your room, lock your door, pray to your Heavenly Father, and he will hear you. Like to read about Jesus, sir? Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Murder is wrong. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. Murder will take you to hell. A murderous spirit will take you to hell. Be washed, be clean by the regeneration of the washing through the Holy Spirit of your soul, through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. That's the only way. Jesus is the pure love. That's what he is. He died for you. The world doesn't die for you. No one dies for you but Jesus. Jesus is the only one who ever died for the whole world through a resurrection. He rose again from the dead. He defeated death. And whoever should receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus will have everlasting life. It's that simple. Jesus says, pride has arisen, arrogance has blossomed. Too much pride in the way will stop us from inheriting the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. That's the trap of the devil. The devil wants to keep you in bondage. The devil wants to make you haughty. He wants to make you angry. The devil wants to, wants to mess you up and lie to you. That's what the devil wants to do. Jesus says, if you receive my Holy Spirit, your eyes will be open. You'll have a shield, a protection, that the devil will not be able to ste steal or kill or rob or destroy your love and your peace, your, your, your life, your eternal life. That's what Jesus came to do. He came to give you eternal life. And whoever receives the Spirit of Jesus will have everlasting life. He came to comfort you. Jesus Christ is a comforter, says in the Bible. He sends the comfort of the Holy Spirit to love you, to give you His Holy Spirit, to give you eternal life. Make your confession, receive the love of Jesus Christ, that you too will share in the kingdom of God. Because there's hell to pay, people. There's hell to pay. And I don't want you in hell. We don't want you there. That's not where we want you to be. We want you to be in the kingdom with us. There's a lot of room. There's a lot of space. Eternity has a lot of space for you. 
There's an easy way and there's a hard way. The Bible says that love has nothing better than this. The best way is the love of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, I'll show you the way. The path is to the love of Jesus Christ, not the love of the world. The love of the world will kill you and it will take you down. The love of Jesus Christ will exalt you and bring you up. Humble your hearts. Pray to your Heavenly Father. Seek the love of Jesus Christ, not the love of the world, not the religion of the world. Not the religion of the world, not the man-made program in the four corners of the earth. That, that, that's going to kill you. No, the real love, the real, real, true, uh, genuine love of God, of Jesus Christ. Jesus says, receive my spirit. Sup with me. Pastor Jesus, you know, Pastor Jesus, your high priest, Jesus Christ, you go to Jesus directly. You don't go to a man. If you go to a man, you're cursed. Worldly religion will kill you. Jesus says, I die for you. You come to me. Ask me for the Holy Spirit. A man can't give you the Holy Spirit. Only God can give you the Holy Spirit. That's why don't be deceived by a man. Don't be hardened by a man. Go directly to Jesus Christ. Ask him directly because he's your pastor, not a man. He, Jesus isn't chasing money. Jesus wants your soul. That's what he wants. He doesn't want your money. A man's going to lie to you because he wants your money. Jesus Christ doesn't lie to you because he wants your soul. He wants you saved. Don't be hardened by the lies of this world. Jesus said that many false Christs will come saying that I am God, I am Christ, and will deceive many and harden many hearts. Pastors and priests, they want your money. Jesus doesn't want your money. Jesus wants your soul. Go to Pastor Jesus. Seek Jesus Christ. Seek your priest, your high priest who died for you, who is seated on high at the right hand of the Father on the throne room of God. Seek Jesus. Make your confession today. Would you like to read about Jesus today, sir? The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ. You see, there's only one way. You have to have a direct relationship with Jesus. Not through a pastor, not through a man. That's idolatry. Idolaters will not inherit the kingdom of God. Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. You see? We must be washed clean through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ and get to know Jesus and, and live a new life. He says, become a new creature. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Would you like to read about Jesus Christ? Today, says in Hebrews, if you hear his word, do not be hardened. If you hear his voice, don't be hardened. Don't be hardened. Don't let a man harden you. Go to Pastor Jesus. Seek to your priest, your high priest in heavenly places, Jesus Christ. He's the one with the power. He's the one to bless your soul. He's the one to give you eternal life. Not a man. A man can't do it. A man's not going to tell you the truth. A man's going to lie to you. A man's going to say you can do whatever you want and you can get to heaven. That's what a man says. And with his other hand, he's digging deep into your wallet. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus today. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. You shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Jesus came to save us. He saved you. He wants to put his spirit in you. Do not trust in a man. Trust in Jesus. Go to Pastor Jesus. Oh, but there's only one way, and that's the love of God, not the love of this world. The love of this world doesn't die for you. The love of this world will kill you. Go to Pastor Jesus. Ask him for life. Lord Jesus. I'm a sinner. Help me out. I need you right now. Show me if you're real. Ask him if he's real. That's what you got. That's the problem. Your religion doesn't let you ask. Oh, if you go away from this religion, we'll kill you. Oh, that's a great religion. Whoa. Oh, you're blessed. You're in a cult. You're in the mafia. That's what you are. You're in the mafia. You're not in a real religion. Pure and undefiled religion is to go directly to Jesus Christ. He's your pastor. Not, a, not some stupid religion. Yeah, you need to go straight to God, straight to Jesus Christ. He's, that's why he came and died. He died so you could have everlasting life. I believe that. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Receive the Holy Spirit, Father God. Bless her and bless her abundantly, I pray in Jesus' name. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus. There you are. God bless you. Everlasting life in your hands, right there. Do it. Jesus Christ the word is free receive the love of Jesus Christ Jesus said I came to give life and give life abundantly test him in this he says test me in love come to me come to me your high priest your pastor come to Jesus and receive the Holy Spirit
Trust in Jesus. Ask Jesus Christ. You will know the truth. The truth will set you free. Jesus Christ loves you. He came here to give you life. He says, go in your room. Close your door. Pray to your Heavenly Father and He will hear you. I'd like to read about Jesus, sir. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ, the true manna that came from heaven. Vitamins for your spirit and food for your soul. I'd like to read about Jesus today. Salvation is free. This is your repentance package right here. This will get you right to heaven. This is the real food that came down from heaven. The word of God. The true God. Not the God of religion, of man-made religion. The God, the God who's, who's sitting on high throne in heaven waiting to receive you directly. Pastor Jesus, your priest. Not no man-made religion. Jesus Christ came to die for you. And because he lives, you will also live when you receive of his Holy Spirit. Anyone who murders is a murderer. Jesus Christ did not come to murder. Jesus Christ came to give life. He says, Satan the devil, Lucifer is a murderer. He's a murderer and a liar from the very beginning. Whoever murders and lies is of the devil. Jesus Christ said, I, I came to give life abundantly. I didn't come to kill. I came to give life. Receive of my spirit. Ask of me, he said. Ask of Pastor Jesus. And he will tell you the truth. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Jesus didn't lie. Not like man-made religion. Seek Pastor Jesus. Seek your high priest Jesus. He'll show you. He'll tell you. He's waiting for you. He's knocking at the door. Open your heart. Swallow your pride. Get rid of your arrogance. Okay? It takes humility. God wants a good, softened heart. He needs a good heart. He needs a serious heart. He needs someone to get real with him. Instead of sinning and lying all the time and harboring hatred in your hearts. Open your heart to Jesus Christ. He's the one. He's the one who's waiting for you to receive you. He will make himself known to you. He's the only way. Murdering and lying will get you to hell. God did not come to murder. God died for you. God sent his son to die for you, not to murder people. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Like you speak to Pastor Jesus sometime? Yes, I would. That's how you got to get it done. You are the temple of the living God. God will come into you and live with you and speak to you. God will help, God will help you if you receive His Holy Spirit. If you humble your hearts and seek Jesus Christ, then He'll be able to help you. But if you do not humble your hearts and receive the Spirit of Jesus, He can't help you. He won't help you. There's only one way. Seek Pastor Jesus. Not a man. A man wants your money. Jesus is after your soul. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus. The word is free, sir. Eternal life is waiting for you upon repentance of your sins. That Jesus will baptize you. Send your, give your daughter, your child to Jesus. Lift them up. Give them to Jesus. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Holy Scripture Bible verses. Anointed gospel tracts. I'd like to receive this, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Jesus says, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free when you are baptized in the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. He's the only way. He's sitting in heaven right now. He's waiting to receive you. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. I tweet about Jesus. Jesus says, listen and obey my voice. Receive my Holy Spirit. Be baptized. Jesus says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. There's no other way that a man can be saved under heaven. There's no other name other than the name Jesus Christ. Not, the, not, not man, but Jesus. Jesus said, anybody who murders and kills will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you're a murderer and you kill, you'll end up in hell. There's hell to pay. Jesus, take them both. There's a baptism prayer there for you. That's your package. Jesus says there's one way, and that is to receive love, the real love of God, not the love of the world. The love of the world will kill you. The love of the world is going to hell, and it ain't going to get out until every penny is paid. But the love of Jesus Christ died for you and rose so that you could have life. He died so you could live. 
There is no other greater display of love in the universe ever than the love of Jesus Christ. And yet while we're still sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. That's the greatest love. Thank Seek you. Pastor Jesus, not a man. A man wants your money. Jesus wants your soul. There's a difference. The love of God, not the love of man. The love of man will bring you to hell. The love of Jesus Christ is everlasting life. Jesus is a professional savior. If Jesus had a business card, the business card would say savior, professional savior. Like to read about Jesus and receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. There is no other name under heaven that a man can be saved other than through Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. Make your confession. There's a spiritual baptism there, prayer, right? Humble your hearts and get real and seek Pastor Jesus, all right? Jesus loves you. Father God, protect them and watch over them. Draw them to you, Father. Break that, that, that stubbornness. Break that, that fallow ground, Lord Jesus. Plant that seed and water them. Water them, I pray in Jesus' name. Like to read about Jesus Christ, the word is free. Like to read about Jesus, Jesus died for you. Greatest act of love the universe has ever known. There's never been an act of love like that before. Never. And, and that's the only way to receive that love, that, that spirit. Just give a grain offering with your soul. Say, thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. And really mean it. And you'll see what he'll do. You will feel that. You'll feel his love. Just give an offering with your soul. And just say, thank you, Jesus, right, for dying for me. The true love, the true love of God, not the love of this world. Love of this world is going to kill you. A man will kill you. He wants your money. Jesus wants your soul. And he's a soul savior. And he's the professional savior of souls. No one can save you like Jesus. No one, there is no other life other than the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ living in you. Make that confession. Jesus says, go in your room, pray to your heavenly Father, and he will hear you with your true heart. Don't bring him any, any, any wickedness or evil. Don't test him in evil. Test him in love. Then you'll find him. Because God is love. God is not a murderer. God doesn't kill. God doesn't lie. God is a God of love. Look around. Over seven billion people. God's got a big plan. God loves you. God's very patient. He's slow to be wrathful. But time is short. Darkness is coming. Pride has arisen. Arrogance has blossomed in our hearts. And we haven't humbled ourselves before God. And we haven't tried Him through, our, through true love. Receive the love of Jesus and ask Him for salvation. Ask Him for this Holy Spirit. Ask Him for eternal life. Ask Him. That's what we haven't done. That's why we're in such a mess. God bless you, sir. Jesus loves you. Make your confession. Get serious with God. Get real. Don't mess around with your life. Know for sure. Because there's a big veil of, of deceit and lies over this world. You're being lied to by a man. Jesus doesn't lie. Jesus says, I'm your pastor. I'm your priest. Why haven't you heard that before? Because men are liars. Men are liars. You've been lied to. You should be upset about that. Receive Pastor Jesus. Go to Pastor Jesus, not, a, not to a man. Men want your money. Oh, Jesus wants your soul. That's what he wants. I read about Jesus Christ, the word is free. I read about Jesus, anyone who kills is a murderer, they're going to hell. Jesus said, I didn't come to kill, I came to give life, not to kill. Jesus said, any liar, any murderer, who dies a liar and a murderer will go to hell. And you're not going to get out until all the last penny's paid. Jesus says to humble your hearts and to love the Lord your God with all your heart and mind and strength and to love your neighbors you love yourself. That fulfills all the laws, fulfills the prophets, fulfills everything. If you murder, you're gonna, it's not of God. Murdering and lying is of the devil. Go to Pastor Jesus. Seek Jesus. Seek the truth. The truth is in Jesus Christ. That's the truth. There is no other truth. There is no other way. Jesus said, I'm he, I'm the gate, I'm the door, I'm the shepherd. I came to give down my life for the sheep. My sheep hear my voice and none other will they follow and I give them eternal life. Why? Because his sheep have his Holy Spirit. They have the spirit of the love that Jesus did on the cross for them. They have a familiar spirit. So now they know God. God knows them because they received his Holy Spirit. You see? That's the ticket. 
You have to repent your sins and get real with God. Seek Pastor Jesus, my friends. Seek Pastor Jesus. Okay, I'll take one. God bless you, sir. Get okay. serious, all right? Okay. You got a baptism there and you got the Word of God. Follow that with all your heart, mind, and strength. You'll know the truth. The truth will set you free. Jesus loves you. That's why he died for you. Jesus, it's not about a pastor. It's not about a man. It's about the love of Jesus Christ. Seek Pastor Jesus. Seek the love of God, the love of Jesus Christ. You see, there's a different love, not the love of the world, the love of Jesus Christ, sir. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Grow increasingly from glory to glory. Ask Jesus for growth. Ask Jesus to make himself known to you. That's what he came to do. Jesus Christ died from the, he, 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 he was murdered for you. He died for you and he rose from the dead to give you eternal life. There's no, no I, other I way. I, I There's no other way. Jesus you loves you. You gave it to me about 10 minutes ago. I know. You should probably give her one and and offer offer your child to Jesus. Offer offer your child to Jesus. You gave that to me about 10 minutes ago. She's a child, child of God. That's why she's grabbed. He. Uh, or yes. I'm sorry. Yes. That's why he's taken her. Offer her. Say, Lord Jesus, take my child. Thank you. Right? God bless you. Right? Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Best invisible friend you'll ever have. God bless you, brother. <laughs> God bless you. Oh my gosh. Friends, there's one way. There's one love. His name is Jesus Christ. Not, a, not the love of a man. Not the love of world religion. The love of a man is death. But the love of Jesus Christ is life and peace through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. There's no other way. There's no other way. Love is only, the true love is found through the Son of God. That's it. He died for you on the cross. Greatest love story the universe has ever known. You'll be a lot better with Jesus, my friend. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Make that confession. Pray to Jesus. Pastor Jesus. Ask Jesus for eternal life. Jesus Christ says you'll know the truth. Truth will set you free. Jesus said, I came to give life, not kill life. There's a love of the world, there's a love of God. There's two different loves. There's two different loves. Pride and arrogance is gonna bring you down to hell, my friends. And you're not gonna get out till you pay the last penny. I wanna go to hell. Why would you wanna go to hell? There's an easier way. Jesus, God said, I show you an easier way. It's love. Yes, there is, and he created you. I am God. That's why you're here, right? You must repent your sins and seek Pastor Jesus and your high priest, Jesus Christ. Arrogance will kill you. The proverb says that before the fall comes pride. Pride and arrogance, stay away. Stay out of the pit and confess your, your sins and humble your hearts and receive the true love of Jesus Christ. There's no other way other to receive eternal life other than through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Jesus says, I came to give life and give life abundantly. Like, do you like to read about Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is your pastor. Jesus Christ, he is your, he's your life. He says, I came to give you the Holy Spirit. Anybody who kills and murders will end up in hell. Jesus didn't come to kill life. He came to give life. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, you need to be born again. You have to make your confession. Jesus is the only one who can take you to the eternal life. The kingdom is only through righteousness to the Holy Spirit in us. That's the only way. Like to read about Jesus. Jesus is your best friend, you know that? Jesus Christ is your best friend. I'm telling you, we're gonna need him. Darkness coming on the land. When, when disaster comes, who do we say? Who do we cry to? Disaster comes, we say, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, disaster. Yeah, well, be ready, be ready in advance. Get to know God. Get to know who he is, the pastor Jesus, your high priest. He doesn't want your money. Jesus Christ wants your soul. That's why he came. He died for you so that you could have everlasting life, so we could follow him. He said, he led captives on his train and gave gifts to men. He brought people out of hell and he put the Holy Spirit in us that we might know the truth, that we will be sons of God. Make your confession. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Humble your hearts. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Eternal life is offered to you, my friends. You know Jesus, Jesus Christ? Praise him. Get serious with him, man. Get serious with him, all right? Glory to glory. In be increased. Give an offering with your soul. Give a thank you. Get serious with Jesus. 
Glory to glory. Glory to glory. Jesus Christ said, be aware lest nobody, lest someone fools you. Do not be deceived because many will come in my name saying I am the Christ. Get away from the wisdom of the world. A man will kill you, but Jesus Christ will give you life. He is your pastor. Jesus Christ said, I will send the Holy Spirit. He will live in you. Receive the Holy Spirit. Be born again and get serious. Get to know the truth. Because we're living in darkness. We're shrouded in darkness the lies of the devil. Get real with God. Repent your sins. Make the confession. Jesus Christ said, you'll know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Jesus is your high priest. He's your pastor. There's no other way. Murder will get you to hell. If you're a murderer, a liar, you're going to hell. Jesus Christ said, I came to give life, not kill life. Murderers will go to hell. God is not a murderer. God does not kill. God is a God of life. God came to give life and give life abundantly. That's why he came. Anybody who murders will it'll end up in hell. He's a murderer. That's Lucifer the devil. That's what the Satan does. Jesus said that Satan the devil is a murderer and a liar. He was a liar and when he speaks his, a lie, he speaks his native language because he was a murderer and a liar from the very beginning. Jesus Christ said, receive my Holy Spirit. Receive my love. Receive the love of Jesus. Not the love of the devil, the love of Jesus. There's two loves. We got the love of Jesus and the love of the world. The love of the world will lie to you and kill you. The proverb says that the love of the wicked is cruel. There is a form of love in this world. That love will kill you. It lies to you. A lie is from the devil, not from Jesus Christ. Jesus came to give you life. I'd like to read about Jesus today, ma'am. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ and you shall have eternal life. Jesus says, I came to give life, I came, and I came to give life abundantly. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord Jesus, when they receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. None other will they follow, and I give them eternal life. We'd like to read about Jesus today, sir. The word is free. Eternal life is free. Why do you trust in a man? Don't even trust in your own ways, because the way of a man is death, but the way of Jesus Christ is life and peace. Jesus Christ said, I came to give life and give life abundantly. There is no other way, there's no other name under heaven but man should be saved. Jesus loves you. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Do not be deceived. Jesus said, many will come in my name and they will say that I am the Christ. They'll deceive you and lie to you. Do not trust in a man. Go to Pastor Jesus. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. He's your pastor. Jesus is the high priest. He's the one who gives you knowledge and wisdom through his Holy Spirit, not a man. You're trusting in a man, you're going to go to hell. It's that simple because you're, you're being lied to. You don't have the Holy Spirit. You're not born again. You have to have that spirit in you, the love of Jesus Christ, to enter into the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is based on righteousness, as the Proverbs. Righteousness is the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, the spirit of the love of Jesus Christ who died on the cross, that love, not the love of the world. Don't be deceived if you have to know, and the only way you're gonna know is if you make that confession and seek him with all your heart, mind, and strength. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Give him a prayer. Say thank you with your soul. Give him a grain offering today. You will know the truth. He will live in you. You will live with him. And you will know the truth. Be baptized in the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Spirit. Be born again. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus today. The word is free. Be increased in the love of Jesus Christ. Be born again. There is no name under heaven that a man should be saved other than Jesus Christ. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ. The word is free. Anyone who kills and murders is going to go to hell. There's hell to pay. Let's stay away from the pit, all right? Stay out of the pit. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Get to know Jesus. I'd like to read about Jesus. The word is free. God bless you. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I came to give you life and life abundantly. When you receive my Holy Spirit, you get to know me. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Do not be deceived. Jesus said, don't be deceived by the lies of this world. Many will come in my name saying, I am Christ, I am He. It will deceive many, lead many astray, lead you right into the pit of hell, right into hell. It says, be, be wise, receive my Holy Spirit. Wisdom is of the Holy Spirit of God. And that wisdom comes from Jesus Christ who died on the cross. The greatest love the universe has ever known. The greatest love anything has, anyone has ever known, the whole creation has ever known. 
Yeah, while we were still sinners, Jesus Christ died for you. He didn't only die for those people that he, that he loved, he died for his enemies, and whoever should confess the love of Jesus will have everlasting life. Like to read about Jesus Christ today? The Word is free. Like to read about Jesus Christ? The Word is free. Jesus Christ came to give love. He came to give life, the true love that came down from heaven, the manna that came from heaven, the true light of the world, the true way of existing. Not the way the world does. The world will lie to you and kill you. The world doesn't care. But God cares. And there is a way through His Son, Jesus Christ. The only way. The true love that came down. Jesus Christ isn't a murderer. He doesn't behead people. His people don't go around killing people. This country was based on the God of Jacob. This country was founded on the God of Israel. The God of the Bible. That's where this country is founded. The greatest blessed nation the history has ever known. Wake up, people. There's only one love. That's through Jesus Christ. Not through the love of this world. Why don't you watch the news? What's happening in the Mideast? Why don't you watch the news? And be aware. The darkness is coming upon this land. It's already here. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready to meet your God. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ, the word is free. Salvation is free. It costs no money. All it is is just gotta humble ourselves, make the confession, seek the true God. Ask him, are you real? Ask him, ask God. Be humble in your heart and really seek him and really want to get to know him. Then things will start happening. You're not going to get to know God with pride and arrogance. He doesn't respond to that. He's God. Who are we? But man, with a mere breath. We must humble ourselves and receive the love of Jesus Christ. We must test all spirits, says the Bible. Murderers and liars are not going to get to heaven. Murderers and liars are going to end up in hell. You don't murder. God came to give life and give life abundantly. He came to love you. Receive the love of Jesus. There's a baptism there, the, the Holy Spirit, okay? Thank you. Be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Very cool. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Jesus Christ came to give life, not kill life. He's the greatest act of love the universe has ever known. God bless you, sir. Receive the love of Jesus Christ in abundance. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. There is no other way. Why are you listening to a man that the, the way of the world is going to die? We're going to nuclear war. That's how smart man is. Man just kills itself because it's following the devil. 2 Corinthians 4, 4. Satan is the god of this world. Why? Because people have invoked him. Because the people, they want to follow lusts. They want to sin. God is going to come back very soon. Be ready. Darkness is coming on this earth, in this country. Be ready. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. The love of Jesus Christ. That's the only way. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Receive the love of Jesus in your hearts. The, the manna that came from heaven, the true love. Not the love of the world. Not the love of the world. That love is going to end up in hell. That's where that's going to go. And you're not going to get out until you pay the last penny. And then you'll be humble enough to stand before your God. Then you'll be ready to say, Oh, I'm sorry, Lord. Then you'll be ashamed. Then you'll be humble. After, after a little bit of hellfire, if you don't make your confession, if you do not receive the love of Jesus Christ, Jesus is the only way. He died for you. He's your pastor. Jesus Christ is your pastor, not a man. You're welcome. Thank you. Receive the love of Jesus. I know. Yeah. Are you, are, you, are you born again? Do you have the Holy Spirit? Yes, I do. Okay, well, glory to glory. Make sure. Ask him again. Say the baptism, the prayer of the baptism. Yeah. With your heart, open up to him. Of course, of course. All right, God bless you. God, God bless, bless you. you. God bless you. All right, thank you. Read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. There's no other way. There's no other way to get through the veil. Everlasting life is only through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Murderers and liars go to hell. They don't go to heaven. How can you go to heaven if you kill someone? Think about it. Jesus Christ is love. There's, there's, there's no other greater love in the history of the creation other than Jesus Christ that died for you. He don't, didn't only die for those he loved, he died for his enemies. That whoever would receive that love will have everlasting life. Test him in that. Give him a grain offering with your soul. Say thank you, Jesus.
Want well, to read about Jesus Christ today? Well, he's a good friend of mine. Glory to glory. Be increased. It's never enough. Like to read about Jesus Christ. The word is free. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Like to read about Jesus today. Like to read about Jesus Christ. The word is free. You shall know the truth. Jesus set you free. Jesus Christ came and he died for you. There's no other way. The love of the wicked is cruel, right? You've, you've seen that. Well, the love of God is that he died for you. The love of the world will kill you. The love of God will give you life. Make your confession. Seek him out. Ask him. Get real with God. Stop playing around. I feel about Jesus Christ, sir. Holy Scripture Bible verses. I tweet about Jesus Christ, the word is free. You shall know the truth, truth shall set you free. Not, love has none greater than this, the one lays down his life for his friends. Jesus says, you're my friend when you receive my Holy Spirit. Then you'll be able to hear my voice and you'll be able to obey. Jesus says, receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus. Receive my spirit, my spirit of love. Not, a, not of a man, not pastors, Pastor Jesus, High Priest Jesus. He's the one we gotta go to. You're being lied to and deceived. If you don't receive the Spirit of Jesus Christ, you'll never know the difference between a lie and the truth. The only way to know the difference between lies and truth is when you receive the, the, the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Good and evil is only discerned through the Spirit of God. God is all wisdom. Man does not have wisdom. What is wisdom of a man? We're going to nuclear war. What's the wisdom of a man? God says receive the wisdom of God and then you'll know the difference between good and evil. Then you'll be able to judge. Then you'll know the truth and that's accomplished through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Make your confession. Receive the love of Jesus Christ and then you'll know the truth. Then you will be set free. The truth will set you free. The wisdom of God will set you free. The truth and wisdom of God in you will set you free. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ, the Word of God. Holy Spirit filled anointed gospel tracts. Receive the love of Jesus Christ. Pray to your Heavenly Father. Go in your room. Close your door. Make your confession. And, and the Bible says God will hear. He'll hear you with a, a contrite heart, with a broken spirit. Seek God. In your humility, says the Lord, you will go back to Him. In your humility, pride and arrogance kills. Open your heart to Jesus. Open your heart to Jesus Christ. Murderers and liars will end up in hell. If you murder and you kill and you lie, it's not going to get you the kingdom of God. You're not going to get out until you pay the last penny. That's the hard way. I'm here to show you a better way. We preach Christ crucified. Receive the love of Jesus that he died for you. Yet while you were still sinning, Jesus died for you. He didn't only die for the people he loved, he died for his enemies, and whoever should confess the love of Jesus Christ in their souls will have everlasting life. Receive the love of Jesus in your hearts. The Lord God shine his face upon you and bless you. The Lord God put his countenance over you and give you peace. Receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'd like to read about Jesus Christ today. The word is free. You'll be a lot better when you have the Holy Spirit in you.